Discipline for Peter Novak, an Eastern Conference showdown on NBC Sports, and a brand new member of the Colorado Rapids, next on The Daily. Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Nick Fershaw looking at the biggest headlines going into the MLS weekend and we're going to start with some discipline for Peter Novak, the manager of the Philadelphia Union. Found out on Thursday he's been fined an additional game as well as $5,000 for his actions in the Chivas USA game last week. That means he's going to miss this weekend's matchup against San Jose and a matchup next weekend. Let's talk about on the field for Philadelphia Union. Going into this one against San Jose without Peter Novak. What do we Honestly, I don't think it's going to affect them that much. Nick. You look at what they've done so far, especially in the last three games, and they've seemed to right the ship, especially defensively, and that's really what had to change after Zach McMath had such a rough start. He has to be gaining in confidence. With a home game, I'm sure they're very happy about that. On the flip side, though, San Jose looking like they're going to challenge Sporting Kansas City for that top spot in MLS here in the early going. With a win in this game, they would be just two points behind and even on games. That's going to be a tough offense to stop for uh, the Peter Novak less union. Of course, Chris Wondolowski has been huge so far, and uh, without Chase Salinas, they'll have to look for some more people to create, but they seem to be able to do that pretty well last week against RSL. A nice East versus West matchup. 7 p.m. Eastern, you can catch it on MLS Live. And to wrap up the news on the discipline summary, Robin Frazier, the head coach of the Chief of Chief US USA was also fined a lesser amount and both teams were fined actually for their actions in that game last weekend. Well an important matchup for the New York Red Bulls at home on Saturday 3.30 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. You can catch a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. Andrew they're going up against the New England Revolution coming off that loss at DC United and this is a Revs team that's played very well so far this season. What do you make of it? Certainly New York is reeling in a sense. They've gone up and down. It's been a roller coaster ride all season long for them. The one thing that they can look at with a positive note is they have been good at home. They're unbeaten there and they've They've put a lot of goals in the back of the net, which seems to be their M.O. when they win games. Of course, you said it, that defense really been struggling. On the other side, New England gets Charlie Joseph back, and they've got to be very happy about that going up against a New York team that has some issues in the midfield, hasn't exactly got their first team together right now. So many injuries decimating them. But the Revs had a bye week, so we'll see how they prepared, how they scouted for this one, and if they can come out strong. And hopefully Cyrus Sene, for them, gets a few goals and gets them rolling. And for the Red Bulls, you mentioned some of the injuries that they've dealt with. Wilman Conde, some of those other guys on the back line that have missed time this season. We found out uh, on Friday there could be a new guy coming to town. New guy. The, the best case scenario if you're a Red Bulls fan. Alessandro Nesta being rumored as a potential uh, pickup by the club. It looks like his time is done at AC Milan. He's had a long, illustrious career there, but rumors are that he has a meeting set up with New York here in the coming weeks. That'll be a huge storyline to watch. If they can draw him in, that's exactly what that ailing back line needs. Well, the New York Red Bulls back in action on Saturday again against the New England Revolution, 3.30 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. You can catch a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. Well, another good game in the Eastern Conference, D.C. United at home at RFK Stadium, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday night, up against the Houston Dynamo. You can catch it on MLS Live, a good one because D.C. United's played so well lately, unbeaten in their past six. And the Houston Dynamo, very good. Two road draws uh, as their road trip continues. They're going to open up that brand new stadium next month. Some jockeying for position on that Eastern Conference table in this one. Yeah, a little bit of a barometer game to see where DC United is at. And for Houston, I think they're they're running on, on good time right now. They're making progress. They're on the road. They've still got all their home slate left to go. And we saw with Sporting Kansas City what that can do. But DC still looking for that yeah. second straight win. It's been the better part of two years at this point since they've been able to do that. This will be a prime game for them to do it. It's not going to be an easy one, though. It's not going to be the Red Bulls defense that they beat up on last week. Certainly, Houston much more stout, and they're going to have a hard time breaking that down. I, I would look to be, see this one be a, a low-scoring game, perhaps a draw. One of the uh, bigger notes in this one, two of the hotter players in the league right now, Will Bruin for the Houston Dynamo, has scored a goal in each of his past two games. And Chris Pontius coming off that hat trick against the New York Red Bulls. Should be a good one. Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. Well, switching over to the Western Conference where the Colorado Rapids are at home against Chivas USA, 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday night on MLS Live. This one important because Colorado Rapids could get a very big face back on the field. That's Connor Casey, who's missed uh, a lot of time every minute since he went down with that Achilles injury last summer. He was supposed to come back last weekend, but he had strep throat. Looks like he's going to come off the bench for the Rapids in this one. Yeah, it's been since last July since we've seen Connor Casey, and this has got to be a huge development for the Rapids, especially Omar Cummings. We've seen him play pretty well this year, but 
let's be honest, he's not a point man in that 4-3-3 that Oscar Pereja likes to use. To get Casey in there and get him wide, and then the other thing that we learned about the Rapids yesterday, they picked up Edu, a Brazilian yeah. striker, 33-year-old, lots of experience in Spain. The big note on him, though, he hasn't played in a while, hasn't played a ton since the beginning of 2009. He paid his way to come to Colorado in preseason, impressed enough to get this deal. We'll see how much of an impact he can make. Won't play a role in this one, though. Uh, Connor Casey, hopefully we'll see him off the bench and see him continue to get healthy. Chivas, they've been unbelievable on the road, and uh, we'll see if they can continue that. Actually, unbeaten, three, three wins, best record in the league so far. Very good uh, on the road for Chivas USA. A little bit of an injury bug, though. Alejandro Moreno going to sit this one out after he suffered a concussion last week, but they're also going to get Michael LaHood back. Chivas USA at Colorado, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern uh, on MLS Live. You can catch that one. A couple other things before we go. Extra time Radio. The latest edition came out on Thursday. We had Freddie Adu from the Philadelphia Union as well as Frankie Hayduke, the brand new brand ambassador for the Columbus crew, talking about what he's going to be up to as he spreads the word about crew soccer in Columbus. Brought some beers. Brought some Brought beers, some beers for uh, Frankie Hayduke. One last thing before we go. Power Five, it's a series we've been following all week long. The uh, Field generals, the best holding midfielders in the league. You're going to find out who's number one on Friday on MLSsoccer.com. And for a complete list of all the games and all the latest headlines, log on to MLSsoccer.com.